Wow, wow, wow. Today must be a very, very good day. Yes, today is a good day because come to think of it. When last did we upload a video to the B-Way Vice City Public YouTube channel? We thought it's not been long, only for us to realize that at the end of the day, it's been two months since we've been away. And today, finally, after two months of being away, we now come back to give you massive content. So today is a good, good, it's a great day for us. For two months, we've been away from the scene, but now we're back with our creative gleam. Because our spark never fades, it always shines bright. And now it's time for you to get ready for some videos that we'll publish with all our minds. We know we've kept you waiting. We are sorry, but now we are here with fresh new ideas that we hold here. So hit the subscribe button and stay tuned because we'll explore together and have some fun soon. We've been away for two months now, but now we're back to play. Uh, the absence time is over. Now it's the time to hit replay, bring on the scene, ready to make some noise. We are going to bring the heat with our educative and exciting videos with our creative voice. Welcome to this video. And in case you're wondering, the name is Brian Daniel from B-Way Vice City. And it's a pleasure to have you here, as always. Well, today, what we'll be talking about is something that, in fact, concerns all of us. And the topic is... You know, today, before I go ahead and we talk about the topic we'll be talking about, I have this message for my ALX people. Yes, so ALX, my ALX people, how are you doing? It's been a long time, two months now, no public video. And the reason why we're doing that is because we are actually making sure that we produce content that when you see it, when you watch it, educational videos that when you go through them, you would benefit maximally. So we are taking our time to arrange and organize this content for you so that you can benefit very well from it. But how's the learning going? How's everything? I just said I should check up on you because you people are my guys, you know now. And I know that it's been very difficult with all the whole stories and new developments and all these things that have happened in these two months. Is there anything you would like me to explain? Is there anything you would like to know? Is there any challenge you're currently facing that you would like me to talk about specially? If yes, send me a message down on the comment section or send us a message on our WhatsApp line. So just send a message to Be With ICT and I'll see you there and I'll reply. Yeah. I know sometimes you be like say, nobody's in you. So I just said I should come and tell you how far. Now it's time to go back and let's talk about the topic for today. We would be talking about if you shoot the fair in ALX. Now we're not just going to say if you should defer or not but we'll be looking at the deferring the quitting and the continuation of alx software engineering program and which of these options should you think now why is this topic interesting or why are we even going to talk about the fair in alx the reason is simple with all the latest happenings and everything there is now an option on your dashboards allowing you to defer to a later cohort and many people are taking this option so in the hope of actually getting better or alleviating their pains and their problems in the program so it is now time for us to discuss well what the deferring entails and if you should defer an alx program so they will be looking at the definition of deferring what it involves what quitting alx involves and what staying in alx involves and i will also give you general advice on which of these options i think is the best so let's get started all right now 
since the introduction of the monthly cohorts, a lot of persons are now deferring to pre to future cohorts. They, they are doing this because they feel that it is better they defer rather than staying in program stay and they cannot understand. First off, we'll be asking what is deferring in the LX? What, what does it mean? So when you defer, you're actually temporarily suspending your learning to a future date. That's what deferring involves. Now there are two types of deferrals. And the first deferral is the system, is the automatic deferral. So this one's ha and this one happens if you're not able to hit 70, the 70% 70 cutoff monthly, you would automatically get deferred. Or if you don't hit the 80% monthly, you would, or on your first month, you would automatically get deferred. That is the automatic deferral. The second deferral is the manual, or should I say user, um, activated deferral, <laughs> if we are going to use that word. But basically, it's the deferral that you, the user, choose by your own self, if you're going to defer or not. So we'll be looking at these two options now, I would consider which one is better for you to take. Should you defer or should you just allow them to defer you? So why is the deferring even important in the first place? So what's the aim of the deferring? And the aim of the deferring is to allow you time to focus on yourself and come back later to continue from where you stop. So when you defer, anytime you come back, you continue from where you stopped. You don't start again. You just continue from the point at which you stopped. Now, this looks like a good option, and it is. But there's a big but in it. The reason for your deferral. So why would someone want to defer the program? Now, one of the reasons why many people choose to defer the program is because they say it's hard. So if the program is hard, they believe that deferring can help them. But think about it this way. The program does not become easier when you join again. So if I defer and I come back in two months' time, the program does not in any way become easier in two months' time. It will still remain hard. The only difference is that I will just have suspended the hardness for myself for a period of two months. So if the reason why I'm deferring is because this thing is hard, then that may not be the best reason. But what reasons could really affect deferral? Now, time on, on an unexpected event happens to anyone, so it's very difficult to know what will happen the next time. Something sudden may happen, you may just travel, you may fall ill or anything. Even positive things could happen, and you may be unavailable for a while, you know, being unavailable. I'm unavailable. I'm unavailable. I'm unavailable. But the program is not going to wait for you. So in that case, the ferry may seem like a great option for the person to actually take a break, attend to whatever personal problems or personal issues he has to sort out first and then come back to the learning. That's a good deferral. Now, the other reason why people defer is what I've mentioned about the program being hard. Another reason why some people decide to defer is because they are not understanding what's going on. So they are in constant battle if they should quit or if they should defer. And at the end of the day, when they see that it's possible for you to defer, then they choose that, oh, if, since I'm not understanding what I'm doing, let me be fair to a future time. Now, that's a fantastic reasoning in itself. It's not bad at all. But there may be a problem with that kind of reasoning. And here's the problem. Why it's not wrong for you to want to be fair if the program is difficult, when you defer, you are not learning in any way. So if someone is deferring because he's not understanding what he was taught, if he comes back in two months' time, he will not still understand it. So if that's the reason for the deferral, we end up deferring again and again and again until the person eventually quits. So what is the solution? 
Now, deferring in itself is not a bad thing, but you have to know why you're deferring. If you're deferring because of time or some other serious issues that it's making it impossible for you to give your all in the program, then great. But if the reason is because you are not understanding what's going on, then is deferring really the best option? Because when you come back, you meet the same challenge. So what is a better option? Now we have two options left, and that's to continue or to quit. Now if you quit the program, you have to draw, you have to think this through thoroughly. When you quit the program, are you quitting software engineering or you are quitting ALX? Now it's up to you which one you want to quit. Some people may say, ah, this software engineering, I don't think it's for me. And they quit. Or some may say, my job is too tedious and I cannot leave it for this one. And they quit. But if the reason why you're quitting is because software engineering is hard and then you want to quit ALX and quit software engineering, then that's wrong. The reason why it's wrong is simple. ALX is only a tool. Just like B-Wave ICT is a tool, CS50 is a tool, we have different tools. You choose which one works for you and you stick with that one. So if you're having a problem where you've done everything possible to try to understand the concept of software engineering and you are not understanding, rather than quit, the best thing to do would be to look for another way. Rather than quick software engineering, it would be to look for another way, another method that can help you understand what you're doing. So maybe a better option would be to look for another similar right, program, another program, another course, another teacher that matches with how you wish to learn. One thing is clear, software engineering is not a side hustle, and software engineering is not a joke. It is a difficult, time-consuming, demanding job. And now that you are in the learning phase, software engineering would even be much more difficult for you. But the good news is that you can learn because others have learned. So you will have to give it time and then you will have to learn a, at a pace that you can personally go with. Now, in, in line with that, you can decide to take other courses. The problem with most of the other courses is that they are all online. And if you have problems, you cannot ask the teacher questions. Now, to solve that issue, New Wave ICT is rolling out courses where you have classes with your instructor. So, your learning is live with your instructor. So, we are bringing the online physical learning. We are taking it online this time around. So, from anywhere you are in the world, you can learn as if you were learning physically. You could learn online, ask questions, and get answers in real time. Solve projects, solve tasks. For six good months, VW ICT will be doing this training to ensure that you don't just know the basics of software engineering. You are able to start building projects like portfolio projects and other cool projects, working with language like Python, JavaScript, and C programming language, understanding both the command line and the graphical interface, combining everything you understand to make you somebody who would have something to defend as a software engineer. That's what B-Wave ICT is currently doing. And if this aligns with what you what you want, and you can send a message now to the link below. So you can send a message and ask for the details of this six months course by B Wave ICT to actually learn from B Wave ICT, to learn from us directly. You know, at B Wave ICT, we believe that learning tech should be easy. So we are working to make sure that your learning. It's actually very, very easy. It's smooth and the experience, it's fine. So if your problem is that you are not understanding, this is a good solution for you to understand. But what you should not do is to quit what your goal is. Your goal is to be a software engineer. Remember, the goal is not to be good students or to get 100% or to get 80%. No. 
Your goal is that at the end of the day, you should be a software engineer that is indispensable. Somebody that really knows his what and his what is what. <laughs> right? So this is exactly what BWAV ICT is doing to so ensure that you and everyone else can benefit maximally and can actually become competent software engineers. So if your problem to defer was that you are not understanding, this is a good option. But if the problem is that you don't have time for the program at all, the theory will not solve that problem. Except if maybe you don't have time for one or two months, you can defer. So if you don't have time for the problem, program ever again, you know that your schedule, you will not be able to take it, then you should know that the act of quitting does not make you a failure. That this person stopped something does not mean that the person failed in it. You can now decide at that time that you should quit the program. So deferring is not just a solution for anything. Anything that is the problem, just defer. No. You have to think it through. Is it that I have lack of time? This lack of time, in the next three, four months, would I still be having this problem? If yes, you may think, is the theory really going to solve it? Is it that I am not understanding the project? If it's I am not understanding, would the theory make me start understanding? No. So you want to look for ways now to learn. Learn software engineering. Learn this concept. Learn the act of pseudo code. Learn thought process, which BWAV ICT is offering. You may want to look at such options. And if your problem was that you were automatically deferred, because you couldn't meet up for a particular month's course, then that's quite simple. You just wait till the next court gets to that month where you were, and you automatically join them. In any of the case, what you would be able to achieve is that you will not give up on your dreams. The whole goal is that you become someone who is qualified, who is a competent software engineer, and Thinking about this well will make sure that you become qualified, you become competent, while at the same time ensuring that you are not missing out on valuable programs like this. If you have any questions about the deferring, or you want to discuss anything one-on-one -on -one with me or any member of BWA Vice City, you could send us a message and you could reply to this comment. If there's anything that's not clear, kindly drop your comments below. I would see you in the next video. Until next time, it's a goodbye from me. And thank you so much for watching this video.